Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's very cute. <laughs> I'm gonna reach up here and turn that gear off. Okay. It's a vintage RV. Robin Hood. I'm sleeping in it tonight on the RV property. <laughs> and they got me a heater for the night because it's gonna be cold. And some toilet paper and some water. So yeah, I'm sleeping on the property tonight because tomorrow I'm gonna take it to get serviced. But I'm so excited! I finally have an RV! Yes! I am sleeping in my RV tonight. I'm so excited. I will have to give you guys a tour another time, but a sneak peek. It's vintage. <laughs> Yay! Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Okay, bye. I seriously brought my own bag of disinfecting wipes to wipe down everything. <laughs> I'm having my first meal in the RV. I decided to get a combo, which I don't usually get because I don't drink soda, but tonight I'm having orange soda. <laughs> um, Chris cut fries and the Beyond Meat burger from Carl's Jr. And my birthday cake. <laughs> my birthday is in two days, so happy birthday to me. The man who sold me the RV has the same birthday as me, so he already had a birthday cake. So he's like, I'm gonna give you some birthday cake. Birthday cake. <laughs> <laughs> Yay to my first meal in the RV. I'm so excited and this is my celebration. I slept so good last night, my first night in my RV. I am going to get ready. I'm going to head to get this RV serviced before I hit the road. I have a friend who lives here about two and a half hours away. I'm gonna stop there first and then see where it goes. But I hope everything goes okay today with the servicing because I will get some basic repairs done, but I hope it won't be too expensive. <laughs> so let's go. Woohoo! I'm driving! Thank you. I'm learning. Yeah, it really is. Sad. It is. I just cleaned my stove and I washed dishes. I washed dishes with this spray bottle and this soap dispenser brush. It's very efficient in saving water. So that's what I'm doing right now because the pipes would freeze if I had water in my system right now. This is my solution. I forgot I bought these. It feels nice to have some basics in my RV so that I can do some simple cooking and save a bit of money. I also bought salt and pepper. Pepper on eggs is a must. 
I opened the RV door for cooking, but probably in the future I will slide open the window. It'll be a bit easier and it's right by the stove. Even before I opened the door, I could see my breath. It's cold here in Oregon. <laughs> Dinner is served and I'm going to have tea in my new $1 Goodwill mug <laughs> after I drink the rest of my Chardonnay. <laughs> So I started my first project. I was supposed to be cleaning the oven, but to procrastinate, I have decided to unscrew this paper towel holder, which I decided I am going to keep and use it until I decide not to. Um, I randomly spent an hour in Dollar Tree. <laughs> I love Dollar Tree. And I found this screw set and it's great. The screw was rusty, rusty residue left over but i'll probably eventually replace these screws but for now i'm gonna put it back up there and i've been cleaning it you can see this little clean spot compared to that so yeah i have done my first screwdriver project and i feel so handy now and it's such a basic task <laughs> this comes in such handy the powertrain the transmission the undercarriage the I just finished deep cleaning my oven and I'm so excited. Ta-da! It's clean. Oh my gosh, it's super freezing this morning and it was freezing last night. My hands are on fire right now. I don't even need to do that hard. Even just talking, you can see how much, <laughs> oh my gosh, is coming out of my mouth. For breakfast today, I'm having a quick one egg, two vegetarian sausages, and a little bit of avocado. Heading to the service, the mechanic to service my RV again. And then I'm gonna hopefully get on the road in about two hours if it, I'm hoping it doesn't take more than two hours to get what I need done because they charge per hour. Um, so <laughs> let's let's go. I am in Goodwill getting these vintage curtains for the RV. I'm going to donate these decorative pillows from the previous owner donation area. What a cute little town. They have people who pump your own gas at the gas stations in Oregon. So that's interesting. I just turned my dining area into a bed and this is where I'm gonna sleep tonight. Before this, I was sleeping on the bottom bunk. But tonight, I get this to myself. Yeah. Well, I get the whole place to myself, but you know what I mean. Sleeping at a Walmart tonight. There are just a few cars in the parking lot. I see another trailer. 
camping out but yeah there are some cars over on the other side kind of on the other side where the other store is and a couple of cars out I bought avocados tonight and I love the fact that I can hang them from these hooks I'm going to buy some mandarins and hang them as well at some point I'm excited to eat these they're already ripe As of yesterday, I have reached 75,000 miles. I had 74,000, I can't even remember the exact number, but yeah, here we are. Goodbye Walmart parking lot, goodbye Walmart. Thank you for a great stay. <laughs> so I have about 10 hours left of my journey. Yesterday I drove about four hours, so that's great. <laughs> it's a 14 hour drive from where I was. In Oregon and today I'm going to drive to Harbor Freight I've never heard of it but doing a lot of doing a lot of research and video watching of RVers I have um, discovered it and I'm gonna go get some supplies for my RV just a couple I have a list of things that would be great to buy from there and I think it would be great to check out that store Reading unless you go and make sure it goes oh, yeah, all the way in. You see that one? Yeah, okay. yeah. that all little part. In. Okay. You know, it's going to settle. All I did was like come up into the neck and then I just put the machine away. So, yeah. You'll see, right now, that's it's right there by four. Okay, uh huh. That's where you want to be. It was down about right here under, by the. Back on the road, took a little Walmart cooking stop, and then getting back on the road, about eight hours left. Here we go again. This is my life. This man just walked up to my RV asking if he could buy some crystal meth and phetamine. <laughs> He's walking away now. I was just like, sorry, I don't have anything. <laughs> I didn't know how to respond to that like <laughs> oh yeah just you know got some right in my RV you know <laughs> oh my gosh there he goes again <laughs> thrifting again and I found this really cute blanket it's so me <laughs> it's really funky on one side and pretty funky on the other but I love this kind of material Woohoo! Last night was the first night I slept at a gas station. I slept in front of Arby's and Love's gas station. Driving through the grapevine. This was my first time driving through Northern California and the view was so beautiful. I did end up making it back to my destination in the Long Beach area safely. So thank you all for watching. If you would like to support my channel, please check the links in the description box for my Patreon, Venmo, Cash App, and PayPal. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much for all the birthday wishes. Bye!